All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, today we're going to be doing a Blaze Blue Central Fiction stream. It's going to be round robin. We have six players here tonight. We have Karushi Drive from UCLA. Here we have Life Jam, Hunter Halfhands, Eolin, Prince Waka, and Boardman. Yo, what's up, Life Jam? Hi. Uh, I'll be helping you with commentary when I'm not playing. All right. Oh, you're you're playing first. <laughs> oh. Uh, where's the stream? I'm um, the join link, by the way. Um, should be in tournament chat or the tournament report chat. Let's see, tournament report. Where is that? Okay. All right. So first, our first match of the night is Life Jam versus Prince Waka. Let me just get this set up. All right. Oh my gosh. I think my frame rate is like tanking. I wonder, does this automatically spectate? All right. Frame rate's bad. She. All right, hold up. Oh well, we're going. Please select your character. Hibiki Kohaku. Arakune. Frame rate's still bad? Shit. Oh my gosh, why is it so bad? Right, so we have Arkune and Hibiki first round. I'm gonna try and get this frame rate fixed. Okay, it doesn't look too bad anymore. All right. Oh, purple throw. Maybe combo and would drop. Run up throw. Life Jam playing Arkune. I have no clue how Arkune works. He looks like a. Um, I don't want to say gimmicky, but it just looks like it from like completely new person perspective. Early burst. Oh, very cool combo, actually. Oh, I think that's the curse. Yeah, so BK has curse on. I'm not sure what curse actually does.
Life Jam taking that second round. Oh, is that an overhead? From Hibiki. That one slow move. Counter. Watch I'm getting the turn back. Curse. Super. DP. Overdrive. Alright. Waka taking the first. That scream is terrifying. Waka taking the first game. So we're going to continue off where we left off. Waka taking the first round. Early burst. Another early burst. Burst is off the table for both players now. Curse is on. I got you guys, my bad. Mm. Level two, action. on the table, left jump on the ropes. Waka's cursed. Oh, not anymore. There is so many things on the screen. And that's it. Waka taking game two. Remember that this is round robin, so this isn't the last you'll see of either of them. Hello, Black Jam. What's up? How Dude, we know? I have I have no clue how to commentate, bro. Especially, you're good. You're especially good. this game. I'm just like saying. Especially like when like you're playing a game, you're or you're like you're spectating a game you're not familiar with. It's, mm -hmm. it's very hard to. Con 
to, uh, uh, how do you say it, like, understand what's going on so you don't know, like, really what to, like, expect. Yeah. I'm in the same boat as you. For the most part, I know a little bit about Blades Blue, but for the most part, we're, we'll be chilling, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just saying shit, like, mm -hmm. our Rakune got cursed on. Yeah. Everything's on the screen. So, like... <laughs> Yeah, Arakune's like um game plan is like very straightforward. Um, you get like a, a simple like simple quote unquote simple BNB into Curse, mm -hmm. which is his uh, win condition. He uh get, puts you in Curse, which like lets him gives him access to like um four different bugs that are pretty messed up. Mm -hmm. He it lets him um do like these basically like, wherever the hell he wants. He gets he gains access to like invisible like high low left right mix ups. Yep. Yeah, he goes invisible. He, he could go invisible. Yeah, his, his he has ability to go invisible. Yeah, he, he has unseeable mix-up, which is pretty messed up, you know, but that is his win con. He is probably the most hated character in Blaze Blue, I think. Because, like, it's hard, it's, like, you can't see what he's doing, plus, like, it does, like, a lot of damage. Uh, not necessarily. Um, he, he gets it off of um, Lending 5A, which is like his um his fastest button. He he um, it's like more like learning the hit conference probably like because like there's like so much you you gotta not like do but um, how you say it? It's more like um like learning like yeah, just getting to the, like, the execution is like the the barrier to getting curse because gotcha. um, he has like very different routing for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, he has like, multiple different starters to get curse and each of them has like a, a different route to take. Oh, I see, I see. So it's like just like basically learning its uh, combos and learning um, how to get into like those like hit confirms in the first place. Mm -hmm. Very uh, squirrely kind of character because um, his normals aren't the best on ground. Yeah, the route, like what, um, I'm not going to read your <laughs> username in the chat, but what he said, um, he said like different routes depending on how much curse we have, de depends on like how like. Like for the most part, it's like it depends on how much curse you have. It just means that like you're ending your combo early. Mm. Oh, so curse is a duration. Yeah, the curse is like a, a duration. Like it, it builds up for like if you learn some land certain moves mm -hmm. that build it up, and then um, if he gets it earlier than he he does in his um in his um, B and B, then he would just end his combo early and start running his um, messed up game plan. Mm. Okay, so it's just all about getting the curse. Yeah, that's Arakuna. That's all Arakuna's bat. Gotcha. Um, I'm not sh too sure about Hibiki, though. Um, I think Hibiki's game plan is more um, kind of a... Uh, uh, mix-up? That's why you got Dust Loop. <laughs> not, I don't think that's like a mix-up. He does have, like, more like... He's more ambiguous with his own... I guess he's rushed down. Mm. I, I did see some uh, special moves where he did, like, you know, cross up. Mm-hmm. I played a little bit of him. I think he has a, a clone move where it's like yeah, a fake has, out, right? He has, uh, his, he has like multiple fake out clone moves, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think for the most part, um, I don't know what to say about Hibiki. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, he does Hibiki things. Goes flies over across the screen. Mm -hmm. I like his uh, one special ender though, with the, the drop. Uh-huh. That's really cool. I love the sound mm -hmm. effects on that. Also, I think I was muted the whole time during that match. You? <laughs> oh, you're, you're good. That's okay. Yeah. I, I was just like mumbling. All good. Alright, so um, next on stream, we'll be having um, Boardman versus um, Eoline. Is that how you pronounce it? Eoline? I think so. I think it's e Eoline. 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 So we'll Eoline. be waiting for them to hop in the lobby soon, and we should be getting to the next match. Mm -hmm.
I need to play this game more. <laughs> mm -hmm. The game has does have very very good rollback. It's like mm -hmm. on the level of plus R. It's, it feels very very smooth. I was able to play some from Poland. Oh wow, and, from Poland. And there's like very like minimal drops. It, like it felt like playable. Like Dude. it wasn't like it was still like you know a little shaky because it's like 200 ping plus, but it, 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 we could play for the most mm -hmm. part. Hmm. Yeah, I played when the beta hit for the rollback came out. And I remember learning Susano and Hibiki. Dude, mm -hmm. those characters are so fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Blazely has a lot of fun characters to play. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of characters have, like, their own, like, uh, how you say it? Their own, like, uh, game plan, like, very unique game plans. Mm -hmm. And the combo routing is visually pleasing. Mm -hmm. The... Oh it yeah, like I, I love doing those combos too. Like the mm -hmm. combo trials, mm -hmm. they're like actually like super fun to do because they feel nice when you pull them off and they look nice. Mm -hmm. That's like the, the the team blue classic where they they just there's they have like really really good uh, combo like really interesting combo routing mm -hmm. like visually that was like you ever play like Persona Four like you you can see like the characters like fly and bounce around the screen stuff like that while they're doing like a simple B and B. Mm -hmm. Very satisfying to see. Very very cool. I remember just like w when I was like learning the character, it's it's weird whenever like I play or like I learn about a game that's like been out for a while and there's just like so much that has happened, you know, from like what like what the top characters were, what the top character, what you would call it, the top players are and just like mm -hmm. watching old tournament matches. It's like it's like stumbling upon old history. Mm -hmm. It's always very cool to see, especially with Blaze Blue. Mm hmm. All right, it looks like um currently waiting for Eoline to finish their first match because there are matches going on off stream. Mm -hmm. All right, it looks like they just wrapped up. They should be All coming right. in soon. All right, they're going to be heading up right about in like a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so um, who would you like more when you uh, played Blaze Blue? Would you like um, Hibiki or uh, Susano more? I like Susano more. I like the mm -hmm. concept of like unlocking specials. Mm -hmm, that is pretty cool. It's like, you know, you have to kind of like work your combo routing against to how you get whatever special you want. Yes. I find that super cool. Mm -hmm. Did how you is his play style? Um, he's... I don't know how to describe him. He's like... He's just like a... More like... What's his kind of character? Or is he like rush down? Kind of? Um, I guess more footsies oriented because he's, he's a little slow, but... Hmm. Susan knows rush down. Rush down. Let's see. I'm assuming because like his um his specials should be like incredibly strong if he's if they're locked behind um or they have to in a, if they're like required to be unlocked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're pretty good. Mm -hmm. Uh, by the way, could you uh stream your game on Discord as well so I could uh watch live? Gotcha. In real time without any stream delay. Oh yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah. All right, so uh, first I got uh. Uh, Hibiki versus, uh, Kagura. <laughs> I almost forgot his name. Dude, I, I, I actually did not know his name. <laughs> so Kagura is, um, a stance character. Oh, Ooh. stance character. Yeah. So he got a heavy stance character with, like, charge inputs. Mm -hmm. It's, like, the most I know about him. Get into this first. Oh, it looks like Boardman loses his first pretty quickly right there after Eulaline gets that first exchange. 
Oof. Ends a combo in DP and gets counter hit for it. So Kagura is like a mid range stance character because it's a sword. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's a big sword character. Doesn't have like the best mobility either. He does struggle against like high move, but I, I'm assuming he feels struggle against like more like high, mobile characters. Oh, it drops a combo, unfortunately, and gets punished for it. Bro? You see, like, right there, how he did that slide attack? He had to first go into a stance. Like, he did it really quickly, but he had to go into a stance first before he got into like, that Sun Dipper looking kind of move. Oh. Also, you have to do those stance changes on the fly, and then you do a stance move. Mm hmm. Gotcha. Oh, got a blue beat combo, and gets a reset off of it. Um. Uh, that That's DP? a flash kick right there. That, that was a flash kick, yes. Gotcha. Gets opened up, go, gets opened up by the overhead and proceeds to die for it. It's a good round by Eolan. Oh, oops. Let me update that. Also looks like uh, he has to charge his projectile before he shoots it. I'm not sure about that. Um, I do not know about much about Kargo myself. Oh, never mind. He just did it right there. Mm -hmm. Nice throw break. He's ready for it. Projectiles a 4-6 charge. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Is that low? Oh, yeah, that's a low. That's, that's five movements are low. Gotcha. Both bursts off the table. Cross up. Air combo to drop. Is that a cross up? That is indeed a cross up overhead. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, this looks like a rough spot to be in, especially against like a, a big button character like Kagura. Nice. Nice. Boardman taking off around. Gets it with the low. Smash it in between that frame trap. Um, different versions of the the four six projectile piece. It looked like um he did um Kagura did one that lasted very short. Another one that lasted, I guess, went straight through HBQ and lasted a little longer. Mm. Okay, so there's different versions of projectile. It looks like it. I am not sure. Gotcha. Alright. Yolan taking that match off of Boardman. taking two off Boardman. Oh, okay. So, according to 69 Dogger Swag 420, there's a <laughs> light and a heavy one. So there are two versions, and there's two versions of the Flash as well. Oh. <laughs> well, he said that in the chat. He said some educational information. Yeah. Oh, looks like oh, you're yes, up next. Thank you, 69 Dogger Swag 420. Thanks for coming in. Good, good game. So, and my next yep. match will be against Hunter Half Hands. Hunter Half Hands. I oh, shall be playing next. Okay. Um, Hunter Half Hands plays Rachel. So hurry before I um, get into the match with with him. Um, just know that Rachel is able to control her momentum with the uh, wind. Basically, her got her wind. gauge um, is like, um, like how much wind she can use. 
and she could blow herself around and like makes her like super um, mobile and she could like fly around and just do crazy stuff. Oh, okay, interesting. So, so like, if you when you see a Gwen like in the background, that, that means like you know she's like she's gonna go she's gonna go flying. Gotcha. That's not in the background. You see wind effects go off, and that, that's her just using her drive button. Hmm. Oh, he's playing Kokonoe this Kokonoe. time. I see. Oh, I I heard Kokonoe is a mix-up character, right? Yeah, she is a mix-up. She um, controls magnets similar to Tager, where she can pull you around and has um basically does that kind of stuff, and has a giant fireball that gives her like really good Oki. Mm-hmm. I played a little bit of her before I stopped playing for a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's yeah, so she gets really interesting. To, like pretty nice left right mix ups mm -hmm. with the uh, with the magnets. She also has a teleport, right? Like a small distance uh, yes, teleport. Yes, she does have a teleport. I forgot. Don't remember. <laughs> which it, oh, which will catch you off guard very very easily. Gotcha. Oh, hold on. You only still right. in the you you got the like, boot zone out of the lobby. They stay in there for too long. Is there a way to kick someone out of the lobby? Yeah, yeah. You just um, open and press um, X, I think, if you're using a PlayStation control, and you go to their name and boot from room. Boop. Oh. Thank you. All right. Failed to connect to room. Give me a second. Oops, I used the wrong link. Oh, yeah, I should be hopping in now. I shall not commentate myself during, uh, unless you want me to. I could commentate while I'm playing to explain my thought process. <laughs> Make sure um, to hit Y2 to pass on the, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, rest of the games will be on stream after. Gotcha. Switch to this. Kokonoi versus Arakune. Would you like to commentate along or like explain my dot commentate along with playing or Um It's alright. I'll try it. Right. I'll try it. I'll try the solo. Alright y'all, just to preface this, I have not played much Blaze Blue Central Fiction in a long time. So, all I can do is kind of relay what's on the screen. <laughs> so I understand Kokonoi has that, the magnet ability. Arcane lands curse. Watch, I'm getting a nice conversion off that. Hunter is cursed, and that's gonna be the first round. First round goes to Light Jam. Kokonoe's cursed. Burst off the table for Kokonoe. Ooh, Hunter is a very dangerous fight here. In the corner with curse. Low life. Oh! Kokonoe pressure. Text the grab. And Life Jam taking the first game over Hunter Half Hands.
Alright, Hunter's starting to combo off. Gets hit with the overhead. Super. Oh, he gets conversion off that. Oh, Coconut with Curse in the corner. This is a dangerous spot to be in. Oh, and he gets clipped with one of the projectiles. I'm not sure which one that was. Life Jam needing only one more round to get this. Gonna be cursed. Gets out of the pressure, gets to apply some of her own pressure. Checked out super. Left jam on his last legs. Burst off the table. Kokonoe. Curse. Oh, Combo the curse in the corner. A very dangerous spot to be in once again. Oh, cross up. Life jam clutches it out with a sliver of health left against Hunter Half Hands. Wow. I have no clue what happened, but that looked sick as hell. Hello. Hello. That was a very nice clutch at the end. Thank you, thank you. So you could combo into curse mid combo, and then you still get that pressure when you're done with it. Yep, that's uh, Arakune. Wow. He, he gets a hard knockdown, and then he just uh, kills you. Mm -hmm. I I have no clue what even got hit by there. Did he like cross up high, low, or I think he was in the air, so uh, maybe just cross up. No, I I think he just um got hit by a bug. I didn't. I think I messed up my mix up there. Mm -hmm. But like, so like the the the, the goal of the Arcune, like the, the the process after like basically getting the curse, you get a hard knockdown, you get um a dust cloud, which like slows your opponent down. So mm -hmm. they cannot tech to the side. The barrier of guard crush it wasn't paying attention. I don't think so. I made a guard crush once or twice, but but for the uh, other than that, that's so like so the, what the dust cloud does it slows down their opponent very very crazy like a huge amount. Mm -hmm. So they can't tech to the side or or I mean, tech tech to the side. They can't do like a, a roll or wake up roll to the side, or else they they'll get smoked for it because um in this game you could actually uh wake up with um in a direction. But the downside to that is that you get get punished for doing that. You get catch someone out for doing that. Gotcha. Oh my. That sounds really hard to get out of. Uh huh. Oh no, you're not getting out of it. <laughs> no. And then because of that, so they have to basically hold the next mix up. And then while they're slowed down, um, I go, um, he, he goes invisible, and then he, he could just like send out the bugs, and then he, and then he mixes you up by teleporting and um, doing just like hitting you with the overhead or low. Mm-hmm. So like he has access to um, six different teleports actually, where um, on the ground, three in the air and three on the ground, where he could um, fake uh, fake one of his moves and then do a teleport instead. And that teleport has some um, iframes and it's a proximity attack. So if they get close to it, they'll get like put in that little spider ball, the spider web ball, and then they'll be, like, be vulnerable to whatever he does next. Mm. Also, he has <laughs> feints and fake outs as well. Yep. 
So, like, a common, like, Arakuna mix-up that what they would do is that he has a, a teleport that looks like a jump. Mm -hmm. So he could jump, and then it'll teleport behind his opponent. He could just, like, jump and do that. Either do, like, a jump or, or jump and do the teleport or jump and just air dash back and get, like, a, like a left-right 50-50. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's making it's making sense. Hmm. Either that, or he could just um, walk up to you invisible and just like hit you with a high low. <laughs> He's invisible, <laughs> so you, you gotta guess fifty fifty. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that character seems kind of fun. Yeah, he's fun. Not for the opponent though. <laughs> 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 mm, Arakude, fake outs, teleports, mix ups galore. All right, so our next match we have um, Illion versus uh, Prince Waka. So it will be another uh, Kagura versus Hibiki matchup this time. Mm -hmm. So similar to the board match one. I mean, I mean yes. the board man one, board man match. Hmm. So I'm assuming Hibiki's game plan is just like oh, another connection lost issue. Oh, okay, that is 100% me. Both of them got kicked out. Oh, shit. Alright, hold up. Is your internet going out again? Oh, yes, it has. It has? <laughs> oh, God, is this stream dead? <laughs> yeah, oh, shit. No, this is back up. It's re oh, shit. Yeah. Wow, yeah, my, my internet right, actually yeah. just, like, died for a second. Mm -hmm. You're good. Unfortunately, my setup is not in the optimal streaming environment. <laughs> it's all good, as long as we get to host this tournament, you know. Mm -hmm. I have no clue where it cut off. It cut off like right in the intro, I think. Gotcha. So you're good. Like, no, no, no one played before like this. Both players got DC'd. Gotcha. Oh, overdrive? That was a very good overdrive, right? When you got him during the cross up animation. That's invincible? You want to get it punished. Yeah, overdrive is invincible. Gotcha. So, you, you, either, um, like the, in this game, you can either choose to burst, like um, Hibiki just did there, or choose to overdrive, which enhances the character's drive move and gives them, like, special uh, traits depending on what the character does. Mm -hmm. And you get iframes, like, you saw it over there. It's gotcha. like a common tactic you see, like, for Arakune, for example, we could use those iframes to um, instantly trigger curse, because when he goes into overdrive, he, if he has, like, an, any amount of curse, like, gauge filled up, it'll just immediately put him in the curse mode. And because he's um, invincible during that, he could do his um, frame one backdash, frame one invincible backdash, and just uh, oh wow, throw out bugs in, in the middle of that backdash, and he's like invincible th throughout the entire duration of him throwing out bugs. Mm. Is that backdash like property, like universal or just Arkune? I, I do not know. I think um a lot there are games with I think like Strive and other guilds of your games have frame one invincible back dashes. Um I do need to check the, up on that. You gotta open death slip right now. Oh. oh DP I, one one So <laughs> our Kuna's back dash is actually invincible for twenty four frames. What? 24 frames? Yeah, but every kick has a, a frame 1 invisible backdash, though. What frame does it start on? It, it's not frame 1? Frame 1 backdash, invisible backdash. No, oh, for Arakune's. Arakune, um, it's on frame 1 to 24. Oh. Invincible. Oh, wow.
Do you know what that purple is on, you know how on Hibiki started Hibiki, the HUD? Yeah, that is, um, I forgot the name for it, but it's basically a buff he does. Um, it enhances, so it increases, uh, what's it called again? Uh, I forgot. Oh, oh he tried to catch oh. him with the astral finish. <laughs> oh. Astral finish is an insta kill? Yeah, it's, yes, it's an insta kill, but the conditions for it are like, very, very, uh, specific. You need 100 meter and your opponent needs to be in the red health zone. Mm. So it's not really like an ICA, like, like the old Guilty Gear. Gotcha. It's just gonna, like a flashy way to like finish off the game. Mm -hmm. Actually, really nice clutch from Waka. He was yes, low life that low. whole round. So I don't know how Activate like, specifically procs, but like, and it enhances your overdrive when you use it. Um, there's like a the third, the, there's another part to overdrive where you can like spend, you spend your overdrive to like pull off like a very strong attack. Mm -hmm. Like functions like a super. Gotcha. It's called a uh, Exceed XL, I think it's called. Exceed XL. Uh, anime stuff, but mm -hmm. it enhances that version of um. And I think Aqua also increases damage. Like, no, it might be wrong. I have to look that up. But you said there's like super specific conditions for getting that. Oh, nice air throw. Increases damage output, shortens time between overdrives, and improves. Yeah, so it does um. So it, it shortens the cooldown of your overdrive, and it. Improves exceed excel, increases damage, yeah. So yeah, I can get it by doing an offensive option, okay. Oh, nice throw. Oh, did not punish the throw. Oh, teleport? Oh, whipped beat. No punish? Punish DP, unfortunately. Oh, he gets a combo off that DP? I think it might be just a follow up. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's just like, um, there are characters with DP follow ups in this game. Like, Ragna has a DP follow up, Nalto has a DP follow up. First off the table oh, for. Punish oh, punishes a DP. Oh, it's gonna be big, huh? This is gonna be a lot of damage, yeah. And he has 50 bar to, if he chooses to expend, if he did not drop the combo there, unfortunately. Cross up? Gets hit by the cross up, drops a combo. Nice whiff punish by Prince Waka. <laughs> yeah. Kagura too has his own cross up. Well, unfortunately, he drops a combo off that super. Oh. He, he did rapid cancel for 100 meter to get a, uh, a combo off that super. Yolen taking that second round. It's now 1 1. All tied up. Kagura has a DP follow up, the input is 2, 2C. So Kagura is like uh, the third character to have a, a DP input. I know um, S is also has like a multi hit, but it's not, it's not like a, a follow up you could um, choose to do. Early burst. Oh, he uses the clone to go around the projectile and catch him during the animation. It's a combo with the cross up. Oh, he catches his jump, unfortunately. In this game, you have to, um, in order to air block um, Granite Boost, you have to barrier, or else you'll get hit out of it. Oh, so they're unblockable, no barrier. Yeah, yeah, without barrier, um, Granite Boost are air unblockable. Oh, catches a DP through his overhead. Which I got, I got hit by that multiple times. Oh, nice throw break on the purple throw. Purple throw gives you a lot more time to throw break, too. So I assume purple throw is like, Throwing during like during stun? block stun, yeah, during hit stun or block stun. Gotcha. It's um, it's a way to reset, and it's like it, you have a lot, a lot, a lot of time to um throw break it. It'll catch it, catch you if you're not ready for it. Mm -hmm. That throw break. What 
special about like the throw break too is that like the throw does like unscaled damage, so you, you get to like cheese someone out for uh, just like finishing him up with like a throw. Burst off the table. Oh, Ooh, catches a dash, nice. Both burst off the table. Oh, the, his projectile clashes with um, Hibiki's super projectile. This should be the round. Mm. And yeah, that's Good. it. Yolin takes it. Good set from uh, from Prince Waka and and Yolin. Kagura looks did like have the, you, did, you did have the name swap though. Oh, I did have <laughs> the, the name swap. Overlay. Oh, yeah. my bad. Yolin makes that character look so cool. I or actually that just might be like standard stuff, and I'm just like watching that character play for the first time. Mm -hmm. I think that character is cool. All right, looks like the next uh, match on stream will be me versus Boardman. Ooh, light champ back on stream. Light champ. Yes. And board oh. man. Let me pass that over. Looks like we're going to be having another Hibiki match. It's going to be Arcrene versus Hibiki if I'm not mistaken. Please select your character. I'm getting hit with a cross up. Full conversion to drop. Nice burst. Hit with a cross up again. Should be full conversion. I know the skills. Oh my god, it does kill. Boardman taking the first round. That drop does a lot of damage. Raw super. Life jam puts the curse on. Ooh, board man getting hit out of the overdrive. This might be it. Oh my gosh, life jam clutches out the round. Sliver of health left. Arcune gaming. I'm getting the curse on. It's gonna lead to a nasty mix up. Cross up. Such 
suddenly the momentum has shifted very much towards lifetime. Oh, he gets combo off. Curse is still on. Bursts off the table. This should be it. Yep. Woo! Lifetime clutching out the first game against Boardman. I'm jamming a tough spot right now. Oh, I'm getting starting something. Overdrive. Man getting hit with the jump in. Curse gauge almost filled. Curse is on. Oh, this is very tough spot for board man. Momentum shift. Oh, this is it actually. <laughs> Round one going to life jam. Nice clutch. I'm setting up bugs all over the screen. Burst off the table for Boardman now. That's a nice corner combo. Should go into drop. Gets it with the overhead. Into another nice drop combo. Probably one more mix up. Oh! Here we go, Life Jam getting his turn back. Curse is on. This is suddenly a very, very bad position for Board Man. Yes, I guess. DP is out of the pressure. Wow, great choice, actually. That scream is so terrifying. Life Jam getting that corner pressure along with Curse. Yes. Cross up? I have I have no clue. I got hit. Another mix up situation. Curse is now off the table. Life jam with active flow. Boardman getting a nice combo. Rapid cancel on the throw. Misses the run up throw again. Boardman gets a nice hit. Curse is on. And that should be it. Nice job to Life Jam. Very nice Arakune play there, and very nice play from Boardman as well. Very nice. <laughs> you tried to you try to finish him with an astral, I think. I did try. Did try. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I'm like, hey, that's the astral finish thing. I oh, really no. wanted it. <laughs> that, was, that was nasty. That was really really cool. What do you call it? Gameplay there, dude. Whenever you got the curse, you you shifted the momentum like. Yeah, it does so much damage. That was crazy. It looks like I am next on stream with Ilan. 
Yoda? So I shall Yoda? continue play. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Life Jam back on stream against Yolin, the Kagura player. I just noticed my mouse is just on, just on the screen. Oh, let me pass that over. All right. The next up is Life Jam and Yolin. Yolin plays Kagura. Again, I wish I could tell you what this matchup is going to look like, but, uh, yeah, I got no clue. <laughs> so the last match of the round robin, and then after this, we'll determine who goes to the grand finals. Gets it with the purple throw. Tough spot. Life jam right now. Projectile is going to finish off the first game. That Kagura pressure is terrifying. DP burst off the table. Life Jab getting a nice little combo off. Another DP. Raw Super Curse. Could be a very, very tough situation for Yolin after this combo ends. Finish. Oh. Oh, this should be it. Oh, very, very close from Life Jam. But Yolin finds the opportunity and takes out the first game. I'm sorry, take a liking to this devious little creature. Oh, DP. Set that the projectile. Gets up with the low burst. With DP. Oh, blocks the overdrive burst. Curse is now on the table. Here we go. Arcune time. After this combo, it's gonna be... I wish I told you what he just did there to open him up. So with a throw. Should be in a combo and a curse again. Maybe another curse combo and it's into super. Oof. Life jam. Going crazy with the Arcune setups. Taking the first round. Oh, here we go. Yolin gets set up. Very nice Kagura combos. Check out Oki overhead.
cross up? Question mark? Wow. Untouched round. First off the table for Yolin now. Teleports. Combo. Let's hit with the projectile. Overhead low. Oh, mash is out of the pressure. Very nice mash. Oh, curse. Very dangerous for Yolin. Cross up low? Curse off the table now. Life Jam having a very nice lead here. Oh, gets hit with the burst. Backdash question mark? Life Jam getting a nice combo up. Curse is set up again. This is very, very dangerous for Yolin here. Is Curse still. Wow. Ends it off with the throw. Blue V combo, I have no clue where that dropped. I could not tell, but very, very nice play from Life Jam. The Arukune, it's now 1-1, all tied up. This is the final match before Grand Finals. Very nice corner combo from Yolin here. This doesn't kill. Life Jam's only very hard spot. My guess is overhead. No, just a regular Kagura button. Yolin taking the first round untouched. DP. Gets hit with the low. Watch him starting something. Burst off the table now for Kagura. Oh, gets counter hit. Oh, burst. This is oh, with DP. Watch I'm going to start something. Possibly getting cursed here. Curse is on the table. Here we go. Harukune mix up. In the corner. Overhead. Throw. Purple throw. No curse. Blocks. Or. Dodges the astral. Drops the combo. Oh. Here we go. Harukune combo. Curse. This is very, very bad. Oh. Burst is off the table. Still has curse on though. Life Jam has to survive this. Oh my gosh. Very nice gap in the pressure. Exploits that. Here we go. Last round. Last game. All the marbles. Oh, gets counter hit. Oh. Short combo. Cross up? I'm going to DP back in the corner. Oh, gets hit with the low burst. Oh, God. Oh, does not get the conversion. Oh, gets hit with the overhead, and that's going to be it. Yolin takes it off of Life Jam. That was very, very nice matches. Yo, what's up, Live Jam? What up? So, what were your thoughts on the 
the match just now. Honestly, I have no idea what happened. I was getting hit by a lot of stuff, like overheads, uh, loads. I'm, I'm trying to like figure out the match. I'm trying to like figure out when I can mash and when I cannot mash. Mm-hmm. It's like I never, I've never played against like a Kagura before. I don't mm-hmm. play this game that much. And that's, that shouldn't be an excuse though for um, my loss. Mm-hmm. I <laughs> he, he hit some dirty stuff with me though. <laughs> he stole the corner from me multiple times. I'm like, damn, he's good. Oh yeah, like he he had yeah. to pump or else to just send you back into the corner. It's like, oh man, uh-huh. he knows. Yeah, he, he knows. Well, we got now we have Grand Finals versus um, Aeolian versus uh, Prince Waka. It's going to be a best of five now this time. It's, it's going to be... Um, we have um, Prince Waka on the loser's side of Grand Finals. Oops. All right. Dude, you make Arcade look so fun. Arcade is fun. If you're interested, you should give him out. You know, he does have a high execution barrier, but if you're able to get past that, he's um, quite the character. Mm. Yeah, the whenever you took your turn back and I saw you calling the curse, I'm like, oh, this is this is the momentum shift. Yeah, it's our Ar- Ar- is done playing his own game now, you know. Mm-hmm. Please select your character. Hibiki Kohaku. Kagura Mushiki. Kagura Hibiki. Oh, let me switch the names. There you go. Oh, this is Grand Finals. Grand Finals. And we have Prince Waka on loser side. Oh, so let me also denote that. Early burst from Yolen there. Oh my gosh, that is huge button. Very nice corner combo. Does an overdrive for invincibility. Is able to um, catch Eolin. Unfortunately, he dropped his combo with trying to use the XE XL and gets punished for it. Tries raw super. Catches oh. the reverse of fireball super. Able to cross behind him before he gets hit. Oh, that's gonna. Oh, never mind. Oh. Blocks the cross up. Cross up, nice. I'm assuming that cross up super negative, huh? Yep. Kagura taking the first round. Go see Yoli. Oh, with DP. Walker's gonna get it. With an overhead. Oh, I guess it was the overhead one more time. Able to get his combo off. Unfortunately, he doesn't get any Oki out of it. Ooh, reason oh, he was waiting for the teleport and it catches him. Very nice call out. Oh, gets hit with the projectile still. Oh, here we go. Kagura corner combo. Oh, gets it with the low. No conversion. Oh, low health burst. Burst, uh... Nice teleport to dodge that fireball. Oh, blocks oh, the burst. That's unfortunate. But Ooh. that trade does give Hibiki the round. Very close round. Both bursts are off the table though, right? Yes. Nice CP. CP. Counter hit trades. Oh, 
Oh, it tries to side switch there, unfortunately, inside of it. Oh, it drops the combo. Oh, DP? And that's, that's gonna be DP, it. And that should be the round one, or game one. Game one going to Yolin. Oh, DP, corner, goes for the cross-up. First, oh, into DP again. Blocks the overhead. Ooh, cancels the cross up. Gets tagged. Big button. Cross up. Into back into the corner. DP. That's gonna be it. Wow. Very nice combo. Cross up into put you back in the corner. Very cool character. Catches him with a meaty. Oh, cat. He whips his exceed excel and it's gonna get punished really hard for it. He might be enough enough meter for a. Who I was about to say, no. Ooh. Unfortunately, he dropped the combo there, but I'll see. He was really close to getting an astro combo there if he's able to convert from there. Mm. So, what is the. What do you call it? Requirements to use your astro? So, the opponent needs to be on red health, um, and you need 100 meter. I wonder if Waka knows this and, one. And you need one round off of them. Mm. Oh, I think that's because I, I set the thing to a... Uh, <laughs> I still had it yeah. to first to two. Oh, yeah, that's my so bad. Just keep, just keep playing it out and we will just continue to be a first best of five still. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I should have changed those room settings. No, you're good, you're good. Alright, so we have um Eileen to Eileen two O on um Prince Waka. So we are at um game point right now. Projectile. Early burst. Gets it with the oh. overhead. Oh, DP's out of that overhead. Nice call out. Overdrive. Down hit combo. Walker's gonna get a super off this. Man, it does manage to get the exceed XL this time. Oh, 
that is a very big button. Yeah, it's going to it? have very large normals. Yes, in that combo. Oh my gosh. And if, if that um, didn't kill, he did have meter to um, get a tiny bit more damage in if he was willing to send it mm. for that round. So we're now at a match point, um, Aeolian. Oh, that was a really nice, bad counter hit for you. Prince Waka. Did have to burst it to avoid the future damage. Oh, good air throw. Get a nice corner combo here. Oh, oh he drops it, it and gets punished for it, unfortunately. DP. Blocks oh, a cross up. up again. Oh, this is really bad. Oh. For Prince Waka. Unless oh, he drops, drops it. A <laughs> Waka gonna start something. Ooh. Nice uh, rapid cancel after that. Oh. oh, no punish on the cross up this, this time. Super Insult 2? Is that 2 minus? Oh, he tries to finish him off with the Astral there. <laughs> oh, air throws it. Oh, nice throw. This should be the game. 3 0. Good games. Yo, what's up, Weeb Trash? Pulling up. Yolin gonna take it. The whole tournament. Very well done. Very Good nice. From, uh, from every player. Oh, yeah. It was very cool seeing all of the. What do you call it? Because I, I know there were a few Hibikis, but like they played mm -hmm. pretty different. Hello, Boardman. Oh, Boardman is popping in. What's up, Boardman? Congratulations, Eolion. Hope it's oh. up and ready. Fun tournament. That was indeed very fun. I could have made nice. better, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. I should definitely play this way more, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was quite the experience because both uh, Moblob and I, we both, this is our both, both the first time um, commentating a tournament, so. Yeah, gotta, rope, gotta teach the new bloods how to mm -hmm. work stuff. <laughs> so we are very new to this, by the way. Mm -hmm. This is like. So like we're just, we're just running in blind to a game we're not <laughs> familiar with, plus, it, plus it's our first time commentating, so we're just trying our best here. Yeah. Thank you all for tuning in. I got a couple yep. announcements for you in stream. Uh, oh, we got stream announcements. Reminder, this Friday is our last offline meetup of the semester. At the CPP College of Business. Be there or be whack. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have one more frame drop as like a season finale. That's for the spring semester. So that'll probably be like sometime after graduation. So, which is... Probably like the first weekend of June. So, yeah, look out for that. Alright, thank you, Boardman. Sorry, you did a good job. And, uh, see y'all later. Alright, peace out, y'all. Thank you for coming. Congrats to Yoli for the win.